John 12 verses 20 to 33. Some Greeks who had come to Jerusalem for the Passover celebration paid a visit to Philip, who was from Bethsaida in Galilee. They said, Sir, we want to meet Jesus. Philip told Andrew about it, and they went together to ask Jesus. Jesus replied, Now the time has come for the Son of Man to enter into his glory. I tell you the truth, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone. But its death will produce many new kernels, a plentiful harvest of new lives. Those who love their life in this world will lose it. Those who care nothing for their life in this world will keep it for eternity. Anyone who wants to serve me must follow me, because my servants must be where I am. And the Father will honor anyone who serves me. Now my soul is deeply troubled. Should I pray, Father, save me from this hour? But this is the very reason I came. Father, bring glory to your name. Then a voice spoke from heaven, saying, I have already brought glory to my name, and I will do so again. When the crowd heard the voice, some thought it was thunder, while others declared an angel had spoken to him. Then Jesus told them, The voice was for your benefit, not mine. The time for judging this world has come, when Satan, the ruler of this world, will be cast out. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw everyone to myself. He said this to indicate how he was going to die. Listen closely, for the voice of the Lord echoes through the depths of your soul, calling you to awaken to the divine purpose within. Jesus speaks of his impending glorification, likening his own death to a seed planted in the soil that must die in order to bear much fruit. This paradoxical imagery underscores the transformative power of his sacrifice, which brings forth new life and redemption for all who believe. Reflect on the cost of discipleship that Jesus presents to his followers. He emphasizes the necessity of surrendering one's life for his sake, echoing his own willingness to lay down his life for the salvation of humanity. True discipleship involves a radical reorientation of priorities, where the pursuit of eternal significance outweighs temporal comforts and desires. Let this challenge stir within you a deeper commitment to following Jesus wholeheartedly, regardless of the cost. Consider the depth of Jesus' anguish as he contemplates his impending death. Despite the turmoil in his soul, he submits himself fully to the Father's will, recognizing that his sacrifice is the culmination of his divine mission. Let his example of surrender and obedience inspire you to trust in God's plan for your life, even when it leads through dark and difficult valleys. Contemplate the profound implications of Jesus' declaration that his death will draw all people to himself. His sacrificial love knows no bounds, reaching across time and space to offer salvation to all who would come to him in faith. Let his invitation resonate within your heart, drawing you ever closer to his loving embrace and compelling you to share the message of his grace with others. As you meditate on these truths, may you be filled with awe and gratitude for the depth of Jesus' love and sacrifice. May his example of surrender and obedience inspire you to walk in his footsteps, trusting in the Father's plan and sharing his message of hope with a world in need. Actions to take. Embrace sacrificial love. Reflect on the sacrificial love demonstrated by Jesus in his willingness to lay down his life for the sake of humanity. Consider areas of your life where you can emulate his example by sacrificially loving others, even when it requires personal sacrifice or discomfort. Seek opportunities to serve and love those around you with genuine selflessness, knowing that true fulfillment comes from giving of yourself for the benefit of others. Follow Jesus wholeheartedly. Examine your commitment to following Jesus wholeheartedly, as he calls his disciples to do in the gospel. Evaluate whether you are willing to surrender your own desires and ambitions in order to fully align yourself with his will and purposes. Pray for the strength and courage to embrace the cost of discipleship, trusting that the abundant life he promises far outweighs any sacrifices made along the way. Share the message of salvation. Contemplate the universal invitation extended by Jesus in his declaration that his death will draw all people to himself. Recognize the privilege and responsibility of sharing this message of salvation with others, inviting them to experience the transformative power of Jesus' love and sacrifice. 
Pray for boldness and clarity as you engage with others, asking the Holy Spirit to guide your words and actions to effectively communicate the Gospel. In this sacred moment, let our souls intertwine with the Divine, as we surrender our hearts to the whispers of eternity through prayer. Heavenly Father, as I reflect on the profound truths revealed in the Gospel, I am humbled by the depth of your love and the sacrifice of your Son, Jesus Christ. Help me to embrace sacrificial love in my interactions with others, following the example set by Jesus himself. Give me a heart that is willing to sacrificially love and serve those around me, reflecting your love to a world in need. Lord Jesus, thank you for your willingness to lay down your life for the salvation of humanity. Empower me to follow you wholeheartedly, surrendering my own desires and ambitions to your will. Grant me the courage to embrace the cost of discipleship, trusting in your promise of abundant life and eternal significance. Holy Spirit, guide me in sharing the message of salvation with others, that they too may come to experience the transformative power of your love and sacrifice. Fill me with boldness and clarity as I engage with those around me, that your gospel may be proclaimed to all nations. Gracious Father, Thank you for the privilege of participating in your redemptive work in the world. May your name be glorified as I seek to sacrificially love, wholeheartedly follow, and boldly proclaim your gospel. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.